10 tips for Baldur's Gate 3 really fast. Let's go. Tip number one, loot the Everburn Blade. Before you leave the Nautiloid, you'll have to fight Commander Dickhead and his goons. And he's using a really good sword called the Everburn. If you manage to kill him, you can yoink it off his dead body, and it's a great weapon for early game. Tip number two, finding Wither's Tomb. Withers can be found at the dark crypt among the ruins just north of where you begin on the beach after you crash. Finding this guy is a really good idea because he allows you to respec not just yourself but all your NPCs and you can even change a class for 100 gold. Tip number three, save, save, save. I know it's not proper D&D, but in Baldur's Gate, you can save and quick save with F5. And if you have an important interaction and you choose the wrong answer, if you save before it, you can go back and choose the right one. Especially when you get into a huge boss battle, you can save right before, and even if you die, you have that save you can go back to. Tip number four, talking to animals. If you have speak the dead or talking to animals, they may seem unimportant, but even talking to a lonely rat can lead you to some cool secrets and fun interactions. So remember, talk to them puppies. Tip number five, yeet the potion. If your character doesn't have any healing spells, you can still heal your allies by throwing a health potion near them and the area of effect will heal them. Tip number six, hiding before fight. Hiding before fight is a great idea because you get advantage and you do quite a bit of a damage even before you're thrown into initiative. It's a great way to get off some damage even before the fight starts. Tip number seven, pickpocketing. With sticky fingers comes great loot or however that fucking Spider-Man quote goes. So if your sleight of hand is high enough, you should have no problem pickpocketing NPCs, which means it can lead you some good loot and possibly some keys for some locked doors. Tip number eight, loot everything. Channel your inner loot goblin and grab everything you see. Even if it doesn't seem important to you, you can still sell it to a trader for at least one gold. Tip number nine, send to camp. Coming off of that last tip, if your carrying weight isn't that high, you can always send items back to camp through the menu option to sell later. This is best used for some of the bigger items that take up a lot more carrying weight. Tip number 10, remember to rest. After a grueling fight, remember you have two short rests for every one long rest. Remember to use it, it'll give you half your HP back. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and have a good one. Peace.